Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a bit more of a serious video as there was some drama that happened over the weekend. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. And the only reason we're gonna talk about it is because uh, number one, I'm not going to mention the name of the person or the name of the group that it happened in. We're only going to be using it as an example for what I project is going to be happening in the plant community over the next couple of months to year. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos, but you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships if you want to check that out in the link in the description as well. So today we're going to be talking about is a little bit of drama and my opinion about the climate in the plant community that kind of went down this last week. There is a house plant group on Facebook and of course all this stuff always comes back to Facebook. One of the admins of this group made a comment about house plant prices dropping recently. Uh, specifically, they were talking about Monstera Oblica prices dropping, which is something I've taken notice of myself. And actually it is the reason I recently purchased a Monstera Oblica because I bought it for like a whole plant for the low, low price of only about $500. Normally you're paying $500 or $300 for just an unrooted node. So for me to get this plant at this price, and this was two months ago, maybe three months ago now, was just absolutely ridiculous. It was an amazing price. Monstera Oblica prices have been coming down for quite a bit. They used to go for about three to $5,000 a plant. And that is because of all of the hype that was built around the plant two or three years, yeah, I would say about two years ago, uh, saying that it's the rarest plant ever. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Like if you think you have an Oblica, you don't, which is something I've always kind of talked about on my YouTube channel. Like a lot of people, probably tend of thousands maybe more collectors own an oblique even though it has this kind of like rare complex it's not really all that hard to get a hold of if you have the money for it houseplants have been gate kept for a long time now gatekeeping does exist in every single community and houseplants have been gate kept for a long time now i'm personally not a fan of the gatekeeping i think that plants should be for everyone and i think that the lower the prices are the better but that's just me i know that there are people out there who have different opinions who thinks that who think that plants should be expensive and we should try to keeping them expensive to keep this budget on them because these plants are worth something. But the bottom line and kind of my thesis for this entire video is plants are worth what people are willing to pay for them. And they're very similar to Pokemon cards. I don't know if you guys have been keeping track or even watching all this kind of Pokemon card stuff. These cards, there's a website basically, you can go to it and you can see what XYZ card has sold at what rank it sold for, how long ago it sold and for what price. And basically it keeps track of the different prices or what you could sell yours for. And houseplants are very similar. Like you have some plants that are incredibly, incredibly hard to get a hold of even if you have the money, like a Spirit of Sancti or an Il Simonii. These are plants that they'll be auctioned few and far between on Facebook, eBay, and whenever it sells, it's kind of grabbed the entire plant community's attention because it's like, oh, did you see? A Sancti just sold for 30K. There was a massive, beautiful monster Albo. It sold for like 35,000 two months ago. There's always gonna be someone who's willing to pay those prices in order to get the plants that they want or the Pokemon cards that they want or the rare collector edition car that they want. And I don't think that there's anything bad about that. I think that people should be able to spend their money, however much money they want on whatever they want. However, when it comes to gatekeeping, there are a lot of things that I've observed in the plant community. For example, there's a shop that I went to once that I never went back to again because I got a horrible taste in my mouth where you were only allowed to buy one rare plant from the seller ever. Um, and that was it. And so they were gate keeping these plants and they also were selling them for exorbitant prices and so it kind of makes it feel like it's even harder to get by creating this fake market of oh these things are really really hard to get so you should buy it the first chance you see it that is kind of what makes this whole rare thing a thing I personally think that the prices should go down. The prices are incredibly high right now. I joined kind of at the cusp of the plant prices getting higher. When I joined, it was about maybe $100 to $150 for a Monstera Albo, and I bought an Ace of Spades for 50 bucks. Like, it was about three years ago now, probably. And now, Ace of Spades are like $500 to $1,000, and depending on the Albo you want, it's $500 to whatever. But we'll, we'll get into Albos a little bit more later. I personally think it would be best for the community if the plant prices went down, because I 
personally am a part of the community for the collection aspect, like swapping and trading and making friends with people in the community. I'm not exactly here to like jack up the prices and try to make a quick buck. There are people in the community who are amazing and wonderful community members. However, they sell plants for more expensive because that's what they feel those plants are worth to them. For me, if I wanted to part with like my sport Monstera, someone would have to pay me a lot of money for me to feel comfortable letting go of that plant. So I have this kind of little ranking system. We've got big box stores, plant sellers, like shops, and then private sellers. And in my opinion, I think big box stores are the cheapest, plant shops are kind of medium, and then private sellers can be very expensive. They can also be very cheap. But that's kind of my general opinion. And so when you get someone like a private seller who is gonna maybe sell this massive two gallon gorgeous sport variegated Monstera, they might not want to let it go for less than $2,000 because to them, that's how much that plant is worth to them. Like they would need a pretty good amount of coaxing to let go of that plant. So all that leads me to say that I am not a fan of price shaming. I used to price shame because I was like, well, how else are we gonna bring the market of the plants down? Like it's so expensive. But then because I was calling out people who I believed to be price gouging, all of a sudden it didn't matter what I tried to sell my plants for. People were not happy with my prices and they thought everything should just be free. They're like, oh, well, if you're gonna call out X, Y, Z, you can't sell this for $75 or $50. And I've always sold my plants for pretty cheap. Not everyone is price gouging, and if you know how to find affordable plants, I've done quite a few videos on that on my channel. It's the online house plant shopping series. If you know how to find affordable plants, you won't ever be spending too much money, and if you really ingrain yourself, especially in your local community, you'll be able to make a lot of really wonderful and meaningful trades. But at the end of the day, even if someone is selling a plant for $18,000, $20,000, I'm not gonna price shame that person or make fun of them or blast them. That's what they're allowed to do. People are allowed to sell plants for those prices. And to further wrap up my point, what I'm allowed to do and what other people are allowed to do is sell plants for cheaper. Ultimately, the only thing that's going to stop this massive increase in plant prices is by flooding the market with more and more and more competition. I don't think that it's possible to shame people out of selling plants for expensive prices. I think that they'll just buckle down because they know that there is a market for it and that people will still buy it. So I think that what's best to do and what has the greatest positive outcome for our community is just to be nice to everyone and to respect other people's decisions and be the change that we want to see in our own community, i.e lower prices, no gatekeeping, making sure that plants are available for everyone. Like I said earlier, plants are worth what people are willing to pay for them. And at the end of the day, that's the cost of plants. And the core of this video is that sellers are realizing that buyers are really no longer wanting to pay those prices, which is why the prices are coming down so much. If you don't want to pay those prices, don't pay them. Sellers will realize that. It's what's happening right now. And it's why I used the example of this Facebook group admin who wanted to stop selling plants to increase the value of the plant. It's very relevant and I think that it's really important to discuss, especially in our community. Just like with Pokemon cards, there's some cards that are worth like $100,000. People are out here paying $600,000 for a pack of cards to open on stream. Things are worth what people are willing to pay for them. You just have to know where to look in the right places to get affordable things. So now that's going to bring us down to the prices of plants dropping recently. Monstera Oblica have been getting pretty darn inexpensive lately. I saw a plant the other day go for about $300, a whole plant. Also, Monstera Albo, there's a lot of competition now because people are flooding the market because people are seeing, hey, I can make a living from selling plants. And I think that's awesome. We need more plant shops. We need more people to sell plants. On Etsy, it is incredible. There's like five different shops that specialize only in Monstera Albo cuttings and selling them. And because there's so much market competition, Competition, prices are finally coming down and it is the same thing with Monstera Oblica. Also, my hypothesis is that now that people are kind of going back to work, there's a lot of people out there who are spending a lot less time focusing on houseplants. So therefore, now that we have less people focusing and buying and buying and buying, because if you didn't know, during COVID, gardening was one of the most searched and shopped for things 
during the panoramic. It's not just outdoor gardening, indoor gardening absolutely took off. And a lot of people were getting into these kind of like rarer plants. So now that the market's kind of evening out, people just kind of are unwilling to pay these massive prices anymore. And so people are posting things and they're not selling and they're not selling and they're not selling like they were before. Because when you get this brand new mass influx of people who don't know anything about plants and they're told, oh, this is a rare thing. Rare means I won't ever see it again. Oh my gosh, this person's selling it for 10 K, I'm gonna buy that. Now people are like, oh, there's tons of people selling this. I don't have to pay 10K, I can pay 500 and get the same thing. So prices are going down and it's stressing some sellers out. And I've had this hypothesis for a while, but it was confirmed for me when all this drama went down this last week. So what's the drama? Like I summarized at the beginning of this video, about sometime around the beginning of last week, there was an admin of a group. They made a public post and I'm gonna read you what it says. Starting immediately, there will be a temporary stop to all sales in the group. Let's all stop to smell the roses. The high supply after spring and low demand in summer have brought down the prices of obliga drastically, especially in this group. We all love obliga. We can't devalue the species so fast so much. If you've recently posted a sales post, please willfully remove it or turn off commenting. I want this to be a group effort. The temporary sales restrictions will be lifted sometime in September. Trades are still encouraged. I feel very bad for the person I, for the person who made this post. I won't be naming them and I won't be telling you guys what group this was in either because I feel like they've kind of already got <laughs> Enough, enough backlash. I don't really think they need any more. But I do think that this is very important to talk about and discuss in a commentary setting. So basically we have sellers or this one seller, I won't say that this is all, sellers aren't a monolith, but this one oblique seller who is now the leader of this group and they've decided that they're no longer gonna sell oblique because the plant is going for less and less and less money. And this is just a bad look. Um, I, if you're in the plant community, I'm sure you've seen memes all week about this and it's just kind of been the talk of the town. For me, when I read this, I could not believe what I was reading. It's one thing to feel this way privately, I think. Um, and I do think that there are people out there, I mean, it's been proven now, who artificially gatekeep and limit the sale of something to drive demand up. But to see it actually appear before your eyes is kind of a shell shock moment. That really, really rubs me the wrong way. And it rubs the entire community the wrong way. Okay, I had to go back and find the actual post. A couple hours after this person, after this admin posted the original thing, they recanted what they said and said, okay, back by popular demand sales post. I just woke up to all these passionate comments. I know you guys created this group and I absolutely respect each and every one of your opinion. I can't make you stay in this group, but please try to keep it more friendly and don't jump on accusing people. Be nice to each other and to the admin team. It's hard enough to keep everyone happy and I can't make everyone happy. I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm not sad because I can't sell my nodes. I'm all sold out because of the members of this group. You guys rock. They went and immediately were pretty positive after saying that they want it to be a group effort to stop the sale of Oblica. And now they're just kind of like, haha, just kidding. Ha ha ha. They ended up receiving a lot of hate and there were a lot of people who were joining the group just to hate on this one person. They just kind of recanted everything that they said and wanted to move forward. And the internet did not let them forget anything that happened over a week. Here's a pretty funny meme made by my friend on Instagram at Bushy Lady. They made this meme and I think it's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> what this kind of brings me to is this whole situation with the gatekeeping. I don't think anyone anticipated prices to start dropping this soon. I think that people maybe thought prices would start dropping sometime in a year or two, but that they would continue to go up and up and up until plants just became completely unaffordable. But that's not the reality of the situation. The reality is that the plant prices are already going down. Monstera albos you can buy for $100 to $200 and obliques you can buy for $200 to $300. And I think that that is amazing. Costa Farms is releasing Thai constellations in 10 inch pots that would normally end up being sold for a thousand or more for only a hundred dollars. And of course this is going to make 
some people panic and be upset because plants are an investment, but unfortunately they are a risky investment. I do think that prices are gonna continue to go down until they go up. Plants come in and out of fashion every 20 or 30 years, and they just started to come into fashion again about five to seven years ago from what I could tell. So I think that we're on this kind of uprise. I think we're pro about to start plateauing and I think that the prices will start to come back down significantly and then I think it'll become a more niche community again. Just like Pokemon cards, just like any other thing that doesn't have any inherent value attached to it, it's really just what people are willing to pay. Plants are like that as well and I think that that is something that's important to remember. I just think that there's people right now who might start to try to control the community to try to keep the plants at, a, at this ridiculously high price when really, you know, we should let the market do what the market's gonna do. Anyways, that is kind of the video. I think that it's very interesting to see an actual example of someone gatekeeping product. It's not just behind the scenes that there was this clear panic enough for someone to come out and do this. If you know who this person is, please don't name them in the comments and please don't share what group it was. This video is about the fact that plant prices are dropping, some people are freaking out, and it's pretty interesting that this gripped the plant community for an entire week and my thoughts about it. There's probably tens of hundreds of people who are doing this exact same thing, but they're being a little bit more quiet about it. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video and for hanging out with me while I sit here and give you my thoughts about the situation. I thought it was a very unique thing to happen. It's not something I personally have seen happen before. And I don't think I've ever seen a drama situation take hold of the plant community quite this much. If you have differing opinions than me, I'd love to hear it down in the comment section. I am friends with someone who uh, is a fan of price shaming. So I think it'd be interesting to talk to them and maybe do a video with them about their opinion versus my opinion. But yeah, other than that, thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and tweet me at PlantMeAshley. Follow me on Instagram at PlantMeAshley as well. I would just love to know your thoughts about this. Um, I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. We have over 150 YouTube channel members, and it is so much fun. Come join our Discord. We have a mental health category, a BST for United States, the UK, Europe. Europe, Australia, and Canada. We have a dog category, a creative endeavors category. It's super fun, come hang out. I feel like you get a lot out of the $5 that you pay only once a month from the membership. And you get access to a bunch of other plant parents who just wanna hang out and be friends and do trades and stuff. I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. Bye. Thank you so much for the extra channel support to the planted carly flower, all the green places, and botanicas.